Okay, guys, welcome back. Um, I got one today that um, I didn't even know existed, but apparently it's something that's not it's the most common that you think. So, a Bellingham, Washington woman convicted of shunt attack on a railroad, which means place a device that impairs trains safety systems such as a cross guards and track track signals. So basically, um, the train tracks, uh, the signals, it actually uh, voids them out. Apparently, you have to rig some kind of wiring to something with a magnetic to the tracks. Therefore, it actually just uh, bypasses uh, the sensor to alert the upcoming crossroad to the railroad tracks of an actually incoming train. Okay, so a 28-year-old woman was convicted of uh, violence against a railroad carrier. Now, she was one of two people arrested on the actual railway tracks near Bellingham, near midnight on November 28, 2020. She was convicted of placing a shunt, a device that interferes with the signal, train signals on the tracks. And apparently uh, she took it to trial and she faces up to 20 years. She will be uh, sentenced back in, in December, this coming up to December. So apparently, uh, her and a co-defendant were observed on video surveillance walking on the tracks near a crossing, a railroad crossing. A sheriff's deputies responded to the scene. The defendants were detained for trespassing, and a shunt was found on the track near where the deputies had first encountered them. She was carrying a paper bag containing wire, a drill with a brush head, a magnetic adhesive, and gloves. The wire was similar to the wires used in the Shunting Act incidents. The shunt that was placed on the track could have interfered with the railroad crossing guards at a specific uh, street. And, uh, on, and the scary part is a train carrying crude oil, among other cargo, was scheduled to come through that area soon after the incident. And apparently, um, they uh, disrupted the actual signal system designed to stop trains from crashing into each other or crashing into cars. A car driving through the intersection near the shunt would have no warning that there was an actual train coming. But the interesting part is that um, they were already actually surveillance scene. They were already on the hunt for these terrorism, terrorists, because they are at that point terrorists. And um, they wanted, um, the police were actually investigating the placement of 41 shunts on the tracks, on the track since January 19, 2020. So they had been doing it for a, quite a while, you know what I mean? So, um, but um, on on one night when um, actually uh, it was back in, uh, let me see, it was back in, on October 11th, 2020, Multiple shunts were placed in three different locations in Whatcom and Skagit counties. The shunts triggered an automatic braking system on a train that was transporting hazardous and combustible material. The emergency brake that caused a portion of the train to decouple, which it's disengaged from each other, from the engine, decoupled has the potential to cause a derailment, in this case, a tanker cars of flammable gas in a residential area so that would have been bad news but luckily nothing no they did nothing got derailed nothing got sparked nothing went up on flames so they actually got lucky there so that's the actual scary part about it okay guys well, don't forget to like subscribe